Good morning. We hope you had a wonderful weekend and welcome to another edition of Military Monday. Today's story takes us all the way to Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson, Alaska. The base is located in Anchorage, the largest city in Alaska, and is comprised of units from the United States Army and United States Air Force. Now, there's an old joke used in Hollywood movies that if you screw up in the military, your next assignment is going to be Alaska. However, personally knowing several individuals that have been stationed in Alaska, they just smiled and said it was a truly amazing experience. The unique beauty of the Alaskan wilderness, combined with the challenges the extreme climate and wilderness provides, unique training opportunity and experiences that arm our service members like no other place in the world. Alaska Air National Guardsmen of the 176th Wing rescued a hunter who was critically injured in a 100-foot fall September 6th of this year. Major Wesley Ladd, an Alaska Rescue Coordination Center senior controller said the hunter used a satellite communication device to contact the Alaska State Troopers, who then in turn contacted and coordinated with the Alaska Rescue Coordination Center, or otherwise known as the AKRCC. Obviously, this hunter was knowledgeable enough and had the experience to ensure that he took the proper safety equipment along with him on his hunt to ensure he had a lifeline in a worst case scenario. Once the AKRCC was notified, the efficiency and effectiveness of all those involved is put on display. The AKRCC notified the 176th Wing, which in turn dispatched a 210th Rescue Squadron HH-60G Pave Hawk helicopter carrying pararescue men or otherwise known as PJs from the 212th Rescue Squadron. Air crew of the 210th Rescue Squadron are combat search and rescue airmen highly capable in civilian search and rescue missions in Alaska's challenging weather and terrain. PJs and combat rescue officers or otherwise known as CROs compose the Guardian Angel weapon system of the 212th Rescue Squadron. They are elite special operators trained in technical rescue and are advanced practice paramedics who employ on combat and civilian search and rescue missions. Navigating to the survivor through a windstorm, rain, and limited visibility, the HH-60 air crew assessed the base of the mountain approximately 500 meters from the hunter's location. The air crew landed and disembarked a combat rescue officer and two PJs who scaled 500 meters up the mountainside with their equipment to reach the survivor. The Pave Hawk then returned to base for an additional PJ to aid in the technical rescue effort. The PJs and CRO on scene gained access, stabilized, and packaged the survivor in a litter for transport. The team set up a technical rope belay system to lower the patient down the mountain and waded through Eagle River to the HH-60. The patient and his hunting partner were transported to Providence, Alaska Medical Center. This mission highlights the exceptional synergy of our rescue community, said Captain Dan Warren, 212th Rescue Squadron CRO and team commander for the ground rescue effort. The Alaska State Troopers provided critical information. The 176 maintenance group personnel rapidly prepared the helicopter for flight. The helicopter crew navigated harsh weather to employ us in the unmatched resolve of fellow PJs to overcome brutal terrain to save a life is a humbling endeavor. The team effort is what enables our success. Major Wesley Ladd commended the hunter for caring and properly using a satellite communication device while hunting and said the Alaska wilderness should never be underestimated. Even close to a city, Cold and wet conditions can lead to injury, especially with challenging terrain, he said. Have a plan and carry a satellite communication device for if you need to call for help. This is a perfect example that each and every day, our service members are making a difference in the lives of all Americans. Just because they're not deployed overseas to a combat zone does not mean they aren't risking their lives for their fellow man.
thousands of hours of training went into the ability for all those involved to coordinate and execute a rescue like the one highlighted in today's story. We too often allow ourselves to think the only time our service members are making a difference is when the country is at war. This couldn't be further from the truth. The intense and constant training and development of our service members go through is second to none. It is because of this dedication to excellence that units are able to respond to emergencies that have nothing to do with combat. We see this when units are deployed to support natural disasters and humanitarian missions around the globe. We want to thank all those airmen and soldiers stationed at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson, Alaska. Your dedication to duty, service, and sacrifice is what makes our country great and we appreciate what you continue to do each and every day. The technical and tactical skills of our service members developed through their service is extraordinary. The intangible leadership skills, dedication, loyalty, mental strength, high level of integrity and character instilled in them during their service are critical to the civilian business world. These are some of America's finest assets and are often not taken advantage of by corporate America. I personally would urge every company's leadership and human resources department to really take a step back and gain a better understanding of how these individuals can be a force multiplier within your organization once they transition out of the military. Think about it. The U.S. military has invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into their training and development over the course of their service. They not only learn and become proficient in their primary job, but almost always hold several collateral duties at the same time, making them a valuable asset to you. Our mission here at Bird's Eye View Project is simple. Serve those who serve us. We do this by supporting organizations like Gratitude Initiative in one more way both providing unique services to our active duty military, military veterans, and their families. Send us your story of a military hero to info at birdseyeviewproject.org so we can share it with everyone. We want to thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, we ask that you like it on social media, share it, and invite someone you know to follow Bird's Eye View Project. Remember, love on one another, be kind to one another, and always serve those who serve us.